Well, writing that gets noticed, find your voice, become a better storyteller, get published, is kind of like an A to Z of how to break through the noise and get published. And not only that, but how to write stories, how to find your voice, how to use the lens of narrative to form an arc and how to deal with editors and so much more. It's really the book that I wish I'd had when I first got back into the field after a long hiatus. What can writers do to avoid getting ghosted by an editor they are pitching a story or an article to? There are three tips that I want to share. The first one is that you need to have a specific spin on a story. It can't just be, I want to write about peace in the Middle East. It's much more interesting to talk about there's a situation where there is one family of one religion and another of, an, of another religion and they're coming together and this is how they're doing it and that's what I'd like to cover. Or you don't wanna talk about the influx of depression in children. You wanna have a specific topic for that. Number two, you could tie it in with something going on in the culture. You could tie it in with a movie or with a book or with a topic that a celebrity has brought up that immediately gives it relevance. So the editor will see that even if it's a story that happened years ago, there is some reason for it to be now. I always say, why this, why now, why you? And the third way to keep from getting ghosted is to write to the reader as I call it, which means that even if the editor hasn't seen your work before, you're going to write the first paragraph of your story as if you actually had the assignment. This will show the editor your writing style and your ability to craft a sentence. And that makes a big difference in them knowing that you are someone they can trust. What do you most hope readers will take away from your book? What I most hope that readers will take away from writing that gets noticed is a feeling of inspiration and support. I want to be the literary fairy godmother that you keep in your back pocket, uh, like I do for my students. I've been on both sides of the publishing wall throughout my long career as a magazine editor-in-chief and editor, as well as a prolific journalist and writing coach and writing professor at NYU. And I want people to know that you have to keep working at it. You have to build your craft. You have to ask the right questions, which my book will answer. And you have to stay curious because a curious mind is the mind that's going to pick up information that's going to power you forward so that your writing will get noticed. Mm -hmm.